I believe you said this. You were supposed to be in uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Am I right? I suppose I, I've had five shows that actually got filmed mm -hmm. and, and that didn't make it out. Huh. Okay, so let's start with Sonic the Hedgehog. From what I understand, you had a couple scenes in there that ended up not making it to the movie. Yeah, no, no, I can't really say. No? I okay. mean, yeah, that's... Okay. That's the thing, like, you know? Okay. I can't, there's, there's certain things I just can't, I, I can't say. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. What, what were the other shows that you were supposed to have? Well, we had a show with Rob Deirdre, right? So it was a show, it was supposed to be called Neon Nightmare. Okay. So it was um was Super Jack and 51 Minds. And so after the ridiculousness, mm -hmm. after on ridiculousness, then he called me, I was in the front, called my friends who turned the radio down. Do you know Kane? Do you, do you remember my friend Kane? He's with the baby now. Uh, the big friend? I don't know. Oh. Anyway, so we're, we're, we're in the car and then he, he was basically saying, like, I should have a show just like the Robin Big show. Mm -hmm. It was going to be me and my friend. But then also there was, was going to be like sketch comedy. And then we filmed it. And while we're filming, like all the producers from every show on MTV when they're filming behind the, the scenes, Dylan Francis was supposed to have a show too. They showed me like clips of his. It was, it was supposed to be. Mm -hmm. It was a good show, but they didn't pick that one up either. But then we filmed mine. All the producers who go film at all the the shows, they all flew to my house to like, and that's right when I bought the Coding Castle. And then so we're filming the whole show, and then like the the lady who green lights everything, like she took a job after twenty years working like with Fifty One Minds, she took a job at YouTube to be like the marketing director or something. And then any produ uh, like any production she was a part of that she was going to get a percentage, they just scrapped it. Oh. So they wouldn't let her get a percentage of working over here and then the residuals of this. So they like scrapped everything that she worked on, which was also my show. And then oh, Rob yeah. went for, and he's like, I haven't talked to the owner of this whole company ever. I've never had to talk to him because I've got everything green lighted. I can't believe this isn't going through. And then he went and met the dude and he's like, I'm sorry. We can't get use this show. It was like the half a million dollars down the drain. Another show, TBS, with me, Dirt, and Andy. Mm. And it was uh, produced by Todd Phillips. Oh, wow. Okay. And we produced by Todd. Wait, you're talking about DC? Todd Phillips. Todd who made, Phillips. Who made Hangover? Right. Wait, but didn't, I, didn't he also do a bunch of the DC movies? Todd Phillips. The one who, who, who whoever the producer for Hangover. Right. But I'm saying he did a little way more than that. Right. I mean, <laughs> the hangover I can't keep is just up. the tip of the iceberg. And, you know, and I can't even keep uh, he did he did the Joker. Okay. <laughs> so we filmed that film. So it's he did all the hang yeah, he did all the hangover movies. He did War Dogs, um, Borat, so, old school. So you would expect that this will be per green lighted. It of didn't, course. we didn't yeah. go into a meeting and we're trying to film a sizzle reel. He, we had full production, four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars, everything, whole week filming, whole show gets. We filmed the entire trailer in the first episode, and then somehow, show got scrapped another time. But this is the third time. Me, Dirt, Andy, Candy Ranch. It was gonna be with Tim and Eric, uh, for Adult Swim, half a million dollar production. Kimbo Slice was in the on it also. Me, uh. Dirt, Andy, Kimmo Slice, whole show filmed, didn't get picked up. Wow. That's three re re for real actual shows. Yeah. Luckily, you didn't have to put up the money for those. But a lot of the money got lost in the process of it. But but that's sort of TV for you. Like, they do that all the time, from what I understand. Like, you know, you see it all the time with networks where, like, a new crew would come in and, and they would want the credit for all the shows that they're bringing in. So they just scrap everything that was done before them like th i've heard this story over and over and over again it's a cool story it's a cool story but not for you though good times so are you still trying to get a tv show going or are you just I'm, i guess i need a, a movie agent or a director to be like yo i need you to play joker i need you to play mr freeze in this movie like mm. hey, i need some if somebody came and told me this is gonna happen but like i mean auditions or i mean even going to filming an entire Thing, like if that could get scrapped i mean i guess you just got to keep doing auditions i mean me I, not me I, I don't know i don't know how to do audition 